Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a review on a foundation for you guys. This is on the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation. I know this foundation came out probably a couple months ago, but I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and opinion coming from somebody with very oily skin. I would say maybe combination skin, but very oily in my T-zone. Um, I do tend to get some dry patches, mostly from like my topical acne medications. I do have large pores and acne prone skin. So just to give you guys my skin type and how this works for me, I just had to do a review on this for you guys because I am obsessed with this foundation. Like it has become my holy grail ever since I purchased this. Like I don't want to use anything else. Like it is just so flawless like when I'm going out like you know if I have a date night with my husband or a night out and I just want my face to look flawless like this is what I use I honestly use this on a day-to-day -day basis even for work I just feel like it wears so nicely throughout the day so let's just go ahead and jump right into the product details basically you get one fluid ounce in the bottle which is you know standard for most foundations it does come with a pump and the cap which I think is super nice I hate when foundations do not have a pump this retails for what is this um, this retails for $34 I picked mine up I want to say at Ulta they sell it at Sephora or you can get it online I'm sure at the Bare Minerals website but I think $34 for a high-end foundation is super reasonable. I feel like nowadays they're like at least $40 and up. So I think the price point is very nice. There are, there are 30 foundation shades. And honestly, I feel like there are a ton of light shades. There's a good amount of medium shades. I want to say it's kind of lacking on the deeper end. It has a decent, um, I would say, range of deeper tones. But there probably could be a little bit more. But overall, I think it's a, it's a good range of shades. So basically, this is off the Sephora website, but it claims to be a 24-hour, breathable, full coverage, natural matte liquid foundation. It says that it is lightweight, oil-free, photo-friendly, and full coverage. I totally agree. I feel like this is definitely a full coverage foundation. I think you can get like a medium coverage if you don't want it to be as heavy, but it definitely builds up to a full coverage. I absolutely love the coverage on this. I feel like it's a beautiful finish. I definitely agree that it's a natural matte. It's not a flat matte. Like I hate a flat matte, which is the, um, the L'Oreal Pro Matte. Like it's such a good foundation, but my face just looks like so dry and flat and like chalky. I don't like that look. So I absolutely love the finish on this it's still like it's matte but my face still has some life to it if that makes sense I feel like this sits on the skin so nicely it does not feel heavy it does not feel cakey it wears so beautifully throughout the day like I wear this every day to work I work 10 hour shifts and I have like a good 45 minute drive to work both you know there and back so honestly like by the time I take this off I've worn it for probably like a good 13 hours and honestly like I feel like it wears so nicely throughout the day I still do get a little bit of oils like in my t-zone but that happens with any foundation so usually I'll just use like a blotting sheet and then I'll be good to go. But it doesn't separate where I do get oily. It doesn't like cake or break up. It doesn't settle into any fine lines. So this is like, this foundation has been everything for me. I've been so in love with it. I just feel like it's so stunning. It's like my perfect shade match. I'm in, And I'm in the shade Sandstone if you guys are curious. It's number 16 out of the line. Usually I tend to fall like in right in the middle of most foundation shades. So this one was pretty spot on. Like honestly I don't even have to set this foundation if I don't want to. Usually I'll set it very lightly in my t-zone with a tiny bit of translucent powder and I'm good to go. I feel like this foundation plays nicely with other products. Like you can use any other products on top of it and it doesn't mess up the foundation underneath like it minimizes the look of my pores it covers all of my acne and scarring so honestly I have nothing but good things to say about this foundation and this also has broad spectrum SPF 20 which is definitely a perk because obviously sun protection for your skin is so important but there's no flashback with this which I think is super nice um, there's also supposed to be like long-term skin benefits with using this I don't know how true that is like I said I've only been using it for probably a couple months now but it says that um, a lot of women felt that this made their skin look healthier and smoother it what else was supposed to help minimize the appearance of pores over time helps to like reduce the skin's texture texture by up to 50% after six weeks of use so I'm curious to see how my skin looks after using this for a longer period of time regardless 
I honestly don't care because I think it makes my skin look flawless. I love the application and I will continue to, to use this. I'm wearing the foundation here today and honestly I've probably had this on for a good four hours I would say. What time is it now? Yeah, I've probably had this on for like a good four hours and like it's holding up strong. Like my oils are not starting to peek through at all. Like it's set down on the face. Like I have nothing but good things to say. There's no flashback. And I will show you guys a demo of this product as well. I will do half of my face with a beauty blender and I did attempt to do the other half with the brush and honestly I hated the application with the brush. I feel like the brush just soaked up the product. I feel like it just was not blending into my skin very nicely and honestly I feel like with the beauty blender like you just get such a full coverage with this foundation like it doesn't sheer it out. It just blends it seamlessly into the skin. Alright guys, so let's get into the demo. I wanted to show you what a pump of the foundation looks like on the back of my hand. As you can see, it's very runny. It's not like a super thin foundation though. It has like a decent consistency, but it is kind of on the watery side. But basically, I'm doing this on one half of my face just so you can see the coverage. I'm using the Beauty Blender for this half, and I just love the way that it blends out this foundation. I feel like it gives you a great amount of coverage, and yet it just helps like the foundation sink into the skin. Just look at that from one side to the other. It just really evens out all of my redness and covers any of my blemishes and acne scarring. And then on the other side, I'm using a flat top kabuki brush. I think this is from Beauty Junkies. And so I'm just stippling that into the skin. And in all honesty, I think this was the first time that I had tried using a brush with this foundation. I just tend to gravitate more towards a beauty blender. And when I was looking at it, I just did not like the way that it looked, especially like on my nose area. It just seemed like the foundation brush was absorbing the product. So I went back in with the beauty blender and I just prefer that better. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. Otherwise, that's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.